Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of CFSI Week in Review. The Congressional Fire Services Institute staff is busy preparing for the 22nd Annual National Fire and Emergency Services Dinner and Seminars Program, which will take place April 28th and 29th in Washington, D.C. We anticipate 2,000 state and national fire service leaders assembling together in Washington to meet with members of Congress and administration officials to talk about issues that are impacting local first responders. Our CFSI website contains information about the program, including our seminar series. It will be a two-day program starting on the 28th and carrying over into the 29th. We'll be covering a lot of federal issues and featuring prominent fire service officials as well as administration officials and members of Congress who will discuss with the participants their perspective on the types of issues that are being addressed in Washington. We'll be covering uh, wildland urban interface issues, the whole issue of radio interoperability. Uh, we'll be looking at the pandemic issues as well as issues affecting firefighters at roadside emergencies and then funding issues, particularly the assistance to firefighters grant program and the SAFER program. On the 29th, the evening of the 29th, we'll all gather together at the Hilton, Washington to celebrate the dedication and commitment of our nation's first responders at the National Fire and Emergency Services Dinner. The theme for this year's program is making the right decisions. We encourage you, uh, if you've never been to the program, to, to, to attend. Uh, it's a great opportunity, again, to interact with your local, to interact with your elected officials and share with them uh, how federal decisions are impacting you at the local level. Our website address is www.cfsi.org and our phone number if you have any questions is 202-371-1277. As far as legislative issues, CFSI is continuing to work with the national, organization, national organizations to address a, a number of issues including funding for the Assistance to Firefighters Grant Program and the SAFER Program. The administration proposed $305 million for fiscal year 2011 which is a sharp decrease from the 2010 levels, which contained 420 for SAFER and 390 million for, for the FIRE Act. So again, we are working with the, uh, with the other organizations and we're working with our champions on Capitol Hill to ensure that these programs can receive the type of funding needed to have an impact at the local level. We're also working with, uh, with uh, a coalition on fire sprinkler legislation uh, to enc encourage uh, uh, more use of fire sprinklers in public office buildings. Uh, we're working with organizations, again, on the whole interoperability issue, as well as the PSOB issue, uh, and, and a number of other issues. So if you have any questions on what's happening in Washington, D.C., please give us a call. We can provide copies of pieces of legislation. We can tell you the status of the legislation, and uh, we can tell you whether or not your member is a co-sponsor of a particular piece of legislation. Our job is to help you better understand what's happening in Washington, D.C., so that you, the local fire service leader, can discuss with your own members of Congress how they can help you at the local level. So uh, thanks, and have a great day.